know, stress aside, like trauma aside, it was fun. Like if you're watching this and you've ever been through heartbreak, you can't sit here and be like, LOL, it probably didn't hurt that bad. Girl, it hurt that bad. I swear on everything, I was just so ready to quit. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ketchy for those of you guys who are new here. If you are returning, then hello. Welcome back to the family. I know it's been so, 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 so long since I've been here. And, you know, I can explain. I can literally go back and see how many times I've said, let me explain. But really, let me explain. So, I've been going through a lot of stuff, right? And my life has been taking all these turns and I just want to come back so I could, you know, just explain myself, just talk about what's really been going on. But before we get into that, I would love to tell you guys to just like, comment, and do not, do not, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. There is a button down below and I would definitely, definitely love and appreciate it. If you like this video, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Let me know because believe it or not, it all still helps my channel. Oh, I've been meaning to make this video for so long because um your girl went through a lot like let's get into this tea y'all let's get into this tea at first i was gonna write everything down and just kind of have like a script to go by and then i just started kind of thinking about how much i just wanted this to be as authentic as possible and kind of just straight from the heart basically i'm kind of going to start with the beginning of the timeline which begins with nursing school with nursing school um Huh. The sad truth about nursing school is that um, things didn't really work out. I was just going through so much, like adjusting to a new relationship, um, adjusting to a new setting and environment. When I tell you guys I was studying every single day, feels like I was studying 24 hours a day and I just constantly started to see myself get lost in studying to this time like nursing school is a little bit of a blur because it feels like I was going through like something so traumatic low-key if that makes sense I was always taking exams and tests and everything like that so it was just a lot like I was just going through a lot so fast um oh let me take my <laughs> I just up here I put in the back I don't know if I should bring this a little bit forward oh that's kind of cute I'll put one in the back I'll leave one forward because that's kind of cute getting adjusted to a new relationship was also so hard because at the same time you're trying to get adjusted to someone that you care about but at the same time you're also trying to like learn your books learn your studying like just learn your material i was in my first adult relationship because my last relationship before this one wasn't really an adult relationship i kind of feel like it was like a high school to um kind of like a high school to adulthood and it kind of stopped right before i even was getting to my adult ages anyway so it was hard i definitely found myself like getting lost in my relationship but also like just losing myself in general so it was definitely hard i felt like i was misguided um i feel like my focus wasn't all the way there and it needed to be there so um unfortunately like i kind of said it didn't work but 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 i definitely definitely want to go back there is nothing really um telling me that i don't belong in nursing i just feel as though that school wasn't for me once again because at this point i'm a school hopper <laughs> but i just feel as though that school wasn't for me trust me it was not for me y'all it was definitely heartbreaking though because i know when the grades came back and it was the end of finals season i was just sitting there and i was just like i hope i pass i hope i pass but the exams were so hard towards the end like during the beginning of the semester it wasn't too hard but it's just like trying to get used to nursing in your first semester is always going to be difficult i definitely tried to um, reach out to the professors ask them for help and at some point it's just like even though i was asking for help I was doing better than every single exam I took like I was doing better than the last but the problem was I was not um I wasn't doing good enough and I kind of also felt like I was misguided by one of my advisors and at the end of the day it is what it is because I take more full responsibility for my outcome than anyone else but I will say I do believe I was poorly advised I do I don't care like at the end of the day I'm gonna be honest 
I hold myself accountable, but I do feel like I was poorly advised, okay? Okay. I know that when we were finally getting our grades back and I was coming to the realization that if I did not pass um, the following exams with a certain grade letter or number, I was not going to be progressing in the nursing program. My um, significant other at the time was very, very supportive. They were supportive. Um, they were definitely trying to encouraged me to do better and be better and I honestly like it was just a lot like it was just so overwhelming because at the same time it's like you're trying to deal with a new relationship you're trying to get to know people um on campus because you know trying to be alone as well like up there was actually pretty lonely I just it was just so much and with nursing I just feel as though next time I will have my head on straighter by far straighter and I will do my best to make sure that I get to the point that I need to get to. And next time when I do get the chance to, you know, participate in nursing school again, I will also try my best at that time. And hopefully my best is enough to let me pass. Now, what I did want to talk about in regards to nursing school is... I know I was going to be doing a journey on this and having people follow my journey throughout nursing school. As of right now, the journey is definitely on pause, y'all. It's definitely on pause. I did figure out the types of nursing that I actually wanted to get into. So that was an amazing thing that I realized after, um, you know, not really progressing in the nursing program because I was really in my nursing program kind of lost. Not really knowing what I wanted to do. Do I want to do bedside? Do I want to get my master's after? Like, I was just, my brain was all over the place. And that is a no-no for nursing school. Trust me, it is a no. I do want to send a message to anyone, any person who's watching this right now. If you are in nursing school or you are, like, failing nursing school or you even failed nursing school I just want to let you know that it is okay and you know you will get through this pick yourself up again see if this is really something that you still want to do and if it is something that you still want to do go after it don't let anybody try to cancel out your dreams don't let anyone try to tell you that you're not good enough for this because if you really put your mind to it and you know this is something you want then you're gonna get there no it doesn't matter how long it takes this is your journey no one else is yours like everyone has their own pace everyone's success story is at their own pace so do not you know compare yourself to others or anything like that as for me and my nursing journey guys i will continue so don't worry girl will be back i'm gonna get my scrubs okay don't worry about me and if i finish undergrad and then pursue nursing so be it if i go into nursing during my undergrad so be it but i definitely just I want my cap and gown. <laughs> I'm getting really anxious now because this is like, I know that um, I deserve it. Your girl's been in college for a minute and I'm tired. But yes, so basis of that is nursing school is traumatic. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, what I also wanted to talk about was during nursing school, like I did mention before, I was in a relationship that definitely took a huge toll on me during nursing school. I was very very much invested in my relationship and i know y'all is probably watching this like what relationship catchy like yeah i'm not the type of person to be in a relationship and post it on the social media like you know if you're my close friends and maybe you'll get like a little a little uh, there and there but you won't see their face unless you know them personally but yes i was in a relationship and it was it was refreshing it was something new and i definitely feel as though my time was so like really really invested in my relationship that um i did end up like trying to give even time to nursing school and my relationship it, it did not work out so i would not recommend that we tried our best but it just didn't work out and in my eyes there is no bad blood with the person so at the end of the day like it's all love no hate and just peace i would definitely say and i could tell y'all from the bottom of my heart that my relationship definitely had a big toll on me during my semester so not only was i going through failing nursing school but your girl was also going through a breakup at the same time and it was painful like oh my goodness i don't even think i felt this type of pain before and all my girls who's ever been through heartbreak like if you're watching this you've ever been through heartbreak you can't sit here and be like lol it probably didn't hurt that bad girl it hurt that bad and i know y'all know it hurt that bad because y'all probably had heartbreak too so yes even after um me and the person split up it was just very um 
weird. Right now, I've really just been taking the time to heal from that and then do a lot of self-reflecting on what I really want for myself. So even when I was like, you know, in my relationship, I was talking to my significant other at the time and they were definitely telling me that you never know why nursing school ended. And at the end of the day, it happened this way because if I spent so much time in nursing school, you know, I gave it about two to three years in nursing school and I neglect my whole entire YouTube there's probably a very small chance that I will be able to pick up where I left off and just, you know, move forward with it. And I was kind of thinking about it and I was just like, that low key makes so much sense because in nursing school, I had no time. Like I had no time. I could not sleep, eat, breathe. I had to pick up a book and study and I just, mm -mm, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I literally had no time for nothing. Any girl who's in nursing school knows that you really don't have no time for nothing. You just have time for your books and to, you know, talk to your professors maybe a little bit, but you just have time for your books, course point and like clinical work. Yeah, it was just, you just have time for that. I will say I definitely did enjoy nursing school. I had a lot of fun regardless of the, um, Dress and everything. I had a lot of fun. I loved clinicals. I loved my clinical instructor. She's actually my favorite, favorite, favorite professor. She cared so much about the students. We all have our least favorites, whatever, but it is what it is. You know, stress aside, like trauma aside, it was fun. Like I had fun, you know, I just loved the experience and all I had good clinical experiences I really wish we had longer clinical experiences for my first semester but that is okay so I will continue this journey I don't really think I will broadcast it until I feel really secure in it like probably my senior year or my junior year or whatever I will probably then broadcast it if you follow me on Instagram you guys will be able to see the journey follow me at catchyk.j on Instagram and also follow me on Twitter at catchy k-j-a-y um on twitter and you'll be able to see me type about my experience in nursing school whenever that is to wrap up this video i just wanted to say if you are still here and you're still watching why haven't you subscribed yet like just press it press it you know you want to i want to say thank you to all my friends and family who were very much like very much helping me during this time like especially with like any nursing school like breakup stuff like I just feel like everyone around me has actually been very 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 supportive and that's in terms of families and friends and you guys know who you are so I'm just looking forward to having a really good year and giving you guys the content that I keep promising you guys I have a new vlog coming out really soon right after this so you guys stay tuned because it's gonna be cute well these are also kinky straight bundles because I needed something that matched with my regular hair and I don't think the girls know about this but let's get into it we're gonna get into it a different time guys thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe press that subscribe button press it I'm sorry I feel like I'm bullying you guys into pressing the subscribe button I'm sorry <laughs> I'm going to close this out and say I love you guys thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video Nothing. Yeah. Oh, oh.